All right, so this was the gas station that we stopped at right before hiking. It was in Hakumba. <laughs> and um, we had to park on this dirt road off the side of the road. Uh, we started walking down the train tracks, and it wasn't too long until we found Nudist this. Nudist resort! <laughs> sign that talks about the news store, which is down the street. We did not visit, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you think about it. <laughs> Uh, we got to the first train pretty quickly, and there was a lot of really awesome art there. Um, coming up, you can see a close-up of the graffiti. There was graffiti on the inside and the outside of the trains, and um, it was a little creepy. Like, I was worried about there being people in the trains, but we were the only ones out there. And we were the only ones on the hike, except for one other solo hiker guy. There was me walking in the <laughs> train car and climbing up. There was a lot of broken glass and windows in the train, but it wasn't too hard to navigate in there. For the most part, it was just a cool experience to maybe take some pictures in there and just hang out, get a couple really colorful shots of the inside and the outside. Yeah, the trains were like the main attraction of the hike, but I was surprised at how close they were in. And that was like one of the first things we did. And then the rest of the hike was kind of just this desert landscape that you can see. Um, we felt like we were out like in a western, like an old western the whole time and I kept saying, there's gold in the hills! <laughs> and making Elena laugh, but like I really felt like we were like either in like a western or like some kind of like sci-fi movie because it was just so desolate. It's one of the only hikes I've ever done in Southern California where we couldn't hear the freeway and it was just complete silence the whole time. There's one of the trestles. I didn't get a great shot of it, but... They were pretty rickety. <laughs> a lot of the trestles uh, were pretty high up too, and there are a lot of gaps. So if this is a hike that you're planning on going on, you have to make sure you're looking down the entire time when we're going across those. I really like that keep on keeping on. And here's one of the tunnels. Um, that's for scale. It's obviously really big. It's a little bit creepier there than it looks. Oh, um, there's a bunch of rocks with pyrite, super shiny rocks all around, which was really, really pretty. As you get further down into the trail, there's some, not exactly sure if it was from construction, but there's a lots of bits and bobs that were left there from a long time ago, and just lots of really beautiful natural wildlife like this. Yeah, this was one of my favorite shots, just because it shows the golden tones that we saw the entire time, and all the desert flora and fauna, which, <laughs> you know, you can take the girl out of the desert, but you can't oh take the God. desert out of the girl. <laughs> Stand. There's some more of the graffiti. There was graffiti on like literally everything, and here we are in the tunnel. This the is tunnels. the darkest tunnel. This tunnel probably took us around 20 to 25 minutes to get to the end of. It was a little bit creepy near the middle because Cal started talking about <laughs> very creepy situations. Okay, okay. <laughs> scaring me, but for the this most part. This was the was end great. of what was. Um, I mean, by the time we got fully done, it was about 17 plus miles of hiking this was that was the end of the whole trail and um fun fact that trestle which you can't really see the scale of it but it is the largest freestanding wooden curved trestle in the world <laughs> so that Lots was specifications yeah <laughs> i did a lot of research before <laughs> this hike it really does have like a really rich and interesting history so i felt like even without reading you could kind of get that just by looking at the scenery and all the abandoned stuff there so yeah there's one last shot of the, the scenery and um, we didn't really see many animals but lots of lizards <laughs> I don't think anything else can survive out there <laughs> there may have been a couple snakes that we might have seen here and there but well. other than that <laughs> lizard a couple cool birds but that's pretty much it and then here's my favorite. I think this is like the piece de resistance of the, the graffiti. I love the imagery of the cowboy and the Indian. And here's us being <laughs> super <Very> excited <laughs> to be done with the hike. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching our vlog. I had to get Elena in on this. That's a wrap. <laughs>